do it big, I ain't doing it at all. Me the wishing on a shooting star, wishing you would call. How you doing with the drama? Don't get involved. Are you feeling the trauma? No, I ain't feeling Hey guys, it's me, your girl, MB. As always, I'm not effing begging. So, I'm going to talk about a popular topic that's been circling around everywhere. People that watch you but don't like nothing you do. Come on now. <laughs> so, I'm just going to give you guys my opinion on this topic. You guys can chime in the comments. Stay all the way to the end. Please make sure you like this video, y'all. Come on, help me out. Help me out. I'm talking about it. Okay, so we gonna go into content creation, okay? Cause people that's been posting this particular meme and making videos about it is mainly people that are influence, trying to be influencers people are trying to be content creators so i just want to start off and say that when you start doing content okay it is better off to create a whole brand new page <laughs> brand new page start off start off clean if you're a, the type of person that have a lot of past lovers old friends like old friends from high school old friends you don't even talk to no more old co-workers that you don't talk to no more um start a new page and let me tell y'all this, okay? Because I don't want, because I know a lot of people watch my videos. I am not talking about people I'm still cool with. There's people on my page, pages that I have that are old friends, old coworkers, old. We're still cool. We never left on a bad note. We were cool when we stopped talking to each other. When we left the job, when we stopped being friends, we kind of outgrew each other or I moved or something like that. I'm not talking about y'all, okay? Don't bite my motherfucking head off, okay? Um, I'm talking about the old past lovers that y'all ended on a sour note. Friends, y'all ended on a sour note. Stop being in your ego telling yourself, oh, these my, they gonna see me doing good. Doing good. They gonna see me doing good. These are the people that's on your page. They watch you faithfully. Like, literally, these motherfuckers know everything you post. Everything you post. Including the background. They zooming in. Them the motherfuckers that be zooming in. Looking for everything. Critiquing everything. Those are the people that's watching you and not liking your stuff. Okay, get rid of them. This is why I said create a whole brand new page. Get these people off your page because they not helping you grow. You get what I'm saying? Get them off your page. Y'all not talking to each other no more. Why they there? <laughs> you don't need no closure from them. They don't need to see you doing good. Once you get a little bit more traction, they don't have no choice but to see you. That's when they should be seeing you, okay? Now, family members, on your content pages, only have the family members that are highly supportive of you online and offline. If they're supportive in real life, they clap for you. They are very supportive of, of everything you do. They're genuinely happy when you win. Those are the family members that you want on your content pages. Now, family members that don't root for you, why you got them on your page? This is why, this is why when you wanna post something and you can't, you wanna, you wanna be open and post some creative stuff on your page and be yourself. This is why you can't really post things that you wanna post cause you got these hating ass family members on there cause you know everything that you post, they gonna be the first one under there typing, <laughs> typing those 
little negative comments and being a troll. Not saying that, let me just backtrack. Not saying that, you know, people can't have an opinion. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about they just critical for no reason <laughs> whatsoever. Critical in a way where it's not really helping to improve you as a content creator. They're not helping you. They're just basically nitpicking everything that you do or because you got to remember you don't, they're not really tech savvy. They kind of, you know, on the elderly side and so when they are you know in that age group you know certain things might bother them that you're posting and it's just meant for a joke but they don't get it so like <laughs> it be stuff like that you know what i'm saying and you know some people to be honest with you on my journey as a content creator a lot of people do not understand why anyone would want to be a content creator so you got to think of it like that if it's people that you know they're not going to understand what you're doing when you first start out because they already have something bad created in their mind bad idea created in their mind about content creation people being influencers why are you going to have these people on your page they not they not they don't understand what you're doing so that's the reason why i'm saying create a new page start out brand new put put strangers on there or people that in your real life that are happy every single time you win they clap for you this and that um yeah and then you have the people that really do admire you they don't like your stuff because let me tell you it was so funny like i had talked with someone um one of my friends outside of uh, social media that I know in my personal life. And they told me that they thought that hitting the like button for content creators, we get paid for that. Yeah, so make sure you tell people that hitting the like button is free. You're not paying for that unless you're, you know, giving them a cash app or signing up to their subscriptions. Not on YouTube. YouTube, when you hit that subscribe button, you're it's free. Okay, I'm talking about like if they have an actual subscription, you know, on their page, that's what you're paying for. But the like button is free. Following somebody is free. Sharing is free. Commenting something nice is free. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, so I was trying to make this a short video, but yeah, your confidence have to be up there. You have to build that that motherfucker up. That gotta be always skyrocket to the highest heights. You know, to deal with stuff like being a content creator, influencer, putting yourself on video out there in the public for people to see. Um, also improve your content little by little. Improve it. And that will bring people out of their silent spectatorship. It will bring them out of that silent spectatorship. So, that concludes my video, you guys. I hope this helps someone. And, yeah. Let me know how y'all deal with this situation. Anyway, bye guys. I see that I'm almost there trying to slow me down. I gotta keep going. The bird is your bottom of blicky. Hold it, bitch, I like you one on one. Don't play around this shit.